In the course of a decade the Islamic Republic assembled multiple air defense systems and introduced them to its various military branches at a remarkable pace. Although the adoption and reverse engineering of foreign technology was critical the apparent trend is Iran has become almost fully self-sufficient in mass-producing anti-aircraft weapons and their related equipment. This was the focal point for the defenders of the Velayetskai's 1400 exercises in mid-October when the Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, the Air Defense Branch, along with the Army and the Air Force got to use their SAMs in continuous live-fire demonstrations. Earlier, the Islamic Republic of Iran Army's Air Defense Force unveiled a new surveillance radar and command and control system on 1 September and also announced that it has tested a new version of its Messid-16 surface-to-air missile system. The Iranian press described the Albers as a 3D phased array radar that has a range of 450 kilometers and can track 300 targets simultaneously. The Borhan C-2 system was reported to have been developed for short-range, low-altitude air defense weapons. Iranian news agencies reported that it is capable of analyzing data from electro-optical and radar sensors and sending this on to higher-level command posts for rapid decisions. It then tasks the appropriate weapon system with intercepting the target. It was announced the previous day that a new version of the Mercid-16 system had been successfully tested in the central desert. Deputy Air Defense Force Commander for Operations General Mohammad Kashkal was cited as saying that the system includes new technology to counter electronic warfare and simultaneously intercept several targets. He added that the Mercid 16 was integrated into an air defense network for the first time during the test. Veliat Skies brought together nearly all of Iran's domestically manufactured anti-aircraft artillery, drones, radars, and SAMs. At least four new missile launchers were introduced and conducted live fires, the medium-range Joshan, that complements the 15th of Corded Corded 15, the short-range Desful, and the short-range Majid. Another SAM at Belayat Skies eluded further scrutiny, although low-resolution footage of it was shared by Iranian media. The unexpected appearance of this SAM, that was later identified as the Zubin-inspired comparisons with the Israeli-made Iron Dome air defense system, which is a static launcher deployed in batteries for neutralizing various projectiles. It's possible to mount the Iron Dome launcher on a wheeled transport, and this is offered for export by its manufacturer Rafael. However, it's important to observe the Iranian Zubin Sam at Velayat Skies only carried a single row of four containers. The Iron Dome has 20 containers on either of its mobile and static variants the US Army is planning to field the Iron Dome for its short-range air defense requirements. Parallels to this Iranian SAM can be drawn with the Chinese-made FM-3000 SAM that was offered for export, but had no takers. The FM-3000 utilized a 6x6 transporter with an elongated bed secured to the ground by hydraulic stabilizers. It carried eight containers for its vertically launched missiles that were similar to those used on the Russian Tor M1 M2 SAM. Besides the FM-3000 having rectangular missile containers positioned vertically, when readied the same are found on the South African Amkanto SAM manufactured by Denel. Originating as a naval air defense weapon the Imkanto's vertical launchers can be mounted on either a 6x6 or 8x8 truck along with a 3D acquisition radar.
Denel claims the Encanto's infrared missiles are programmed to engage as many as four targets at a time at medium ranges, with effective distances reaching 20,000 meters or 20 kilometers away at maximum altitudes of 26,000 feet. This means the Encanto is able to intercept and shoot down drones, helicopters, and many types of fixed-wing aircraft. The Iranian SAM that appeared at Belayat Skies had the vertical launchers, the search and track radar, and the control station all in a single vehicle. How it operates as part of a battery and their networking with regional command and control can't be known at this point. Why Iran's air defense units need another short to medium range mobile SAM is perplexing given the successful adoption of the Mursid 16, Yazara, 3rd of Corded. 15th of Corded, 9 Day, Tabas, Talash, and Majid. On December 10, the Iranian Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics released videos showing two new precision guided rocket artillery systems. Dubbed BM 120, has a range of up to 120 kilometers. The system's launcher can carry up to six precision guided rockets with a fairly small diameter. BM-120 rockets are reportedly available with high explosive fragmentation, penetration or cluster warheads. The rockets, which have a very high circular error probable, appear to be guided by an inertial navigation system aided by a satellite navigation system. But having many different weapon systems in service for the same role could suggest establishing maximum redundancy versus a persistent air campaign led by Israel or the US. The Iranian military are no doubt aware air campaigns led by Israel and the West in the Middle East are devastating. Historical lessons are abundant, from Operation Desert Storm to Operation Inherent Resolve against ISIS and the Israeli air campaigns against Hezbollah in 2006 and persistent attacks on Syria since 2012. The existence of this Zubin Sam reflects well on Iran's military-industrial sector whose efforts aren't always successful but can manage supplying the military's needs at low cost. The vertical launchers and their missiles, along with a portable search and track radar, is indisputable proof Iranian aerospace engineering thrives under pressure. The success of the long-range Bavar 373 SAM and different radars exceeds even Turkey's enthusiastic attempt at a domestic air defense arsenal. Among the Gulf, states the UAE is alone, in developing its anti-aircraft weapons and technology, with a short-range SAM now ready for use. Ultimately, Iran's mass production of air defense weapons are for anticipating attacks by cruise missiles, drones, loitering munitions and standoff munitions in a future conflict. This daunting scenario makes short- and medium-range SAMs more viable 